Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Robin. And I'm Narissa. Since our whole channel is basically all about travel, besides a few random vlogs <laughs> here and there, most of the topics that we do talk about is either coming from personal experience or research that we've done on the topic before we share it with you guys. So we thought it might be nice for you guys to understand where we're coming from if we share a little bit more about where we've traveled in the past and who we went with. Just a little insight into our personal experiences. So we thought the least confusing way to structure this video would be to talk about travel that we did before high school, travel that we did during high school, and then travel that we did after high school. I didn't really have the privilege to go outside of Canada before high school, so Robin's gonna take it away <laughs> with her travels. I was lucky enough that my family thought traveling was really important, so I actually did international travel from quite a young age. The first place that I ever went to, which I honestly, I don't remember any part of the trip because I was <laughs> maybe two years old. My parents and I took a trip out to Australia. We have some family there that we visited and then we rented a car, which I'm sure was super cool. Really wish I could remember more than that, but technically that was my first international trip. And then the second international trip I did was when I was in grade seven and my sister was obviously in the picture now. So we took a family holiday to Spain. We were there for a month and we did lots of backpacking. We flew into Madrid and then took a train straight to Barcelona to catch one of the coolest soccer games I've ever seen. And after that, we traveled to places like Cuenca, Cordoba, Sevilla, Tarifa, Gibraltar, and lots of other places. And actually from Tarifa, we were able to catch the ferries down to Morocco. So technically I've been in Africa too. So that was a really cool experience. This whole trip definitely had a long lasting impression on me and changed my worldview for the better for sure because I met lots of people from many different cultures and especially going to Morocco, that was even more of a different experience from what I was used to in Canada. So it was, it was really cool. And I got to miss a month of school, which was also a bonus. <laughs> and then the last international trip that I did before high school was Bermuda, which is kind of a funny story of how we got there. My dad thought it was a super good idea if we didn't plan where we were going beforehand and we booked a ticket that was the cheapest. So jokes on us, <laughs> Bermuda is super expensive when you get there, but it was the cheapest ticket at that time. So that decided where we were going and Bermuda was super cool. And it was way different than any of the other traveling that we had done in the past because it's so small. The only option for us to stay was to stay at technically a resort. We didn't do the all inclusive thing. We just used it as a place to sleep and went out exploring every day, but it was still more of that like beach laid back kind of vibe, very different from backpacking in Europe. So that was really cool. So now we're getting into our high school travels, which we got to share together for the most part, which is really cool. Robin and I both met at Rockstone Junior College, which is in a town just outside of Saskatoon. The school offers a lot of really cool opportunities to travel. They have a program there called ALSO, which stands for Alternative Learning Service Opportunity. We got to do a few trips with that, which was really awesome. So for one week out of the year, the whole school takes part in these service opportunities. And in grade 10, you're doing it in the local area. And then in grades 11 and 12, you have the opportunity to travel outside of Canada internationally. So in grade 11, we were able to go to Alabama. I think there was maybe about 40 of us and we all got in a bus and drove from Rosser and Saskatchewan all the way down to Mobile, Alabama. And in Mobile, Alabama, that's where we were able to work with Habitat for Humanity and build some houses, as well as Ransom Cafe, where we were able to serve suppers or lunches to anyone off the streets who wanted to come in for a nice hot meal. From that, we met some really cool people because they let us sit down with some of the people that were there and talk to them and learn more about them and their life. So it was just a really cool 
cool experience. Along the way to Mobile, Alabama, we were able to make a couple stops in Louisiana and see places like the Human Rights Museum, Graceland, and do a couple hours of exploring in New Orleans. It was just a really cool trip, very different from anything I had done before, anything we had done before. More structured and more focused on meeting people and learning and growing, but still lots of fun. So in grade 12, the following year, Robin and I had the pleasure of going to Guatemala with a few people in our grade 12 class, which was such an amazing experience. It was different from Alabama, more so because we were going there to listen and learn from different communities that we went to visit. And then we went to a lot of different places around. I think we were very lucky the year that we went. They had a really good schedule set out for us. We went to places like Antigua, Lake Atitlan, Samuk Champé, which was absolutely stunning. So yeah, Guatemala for me was huge since it was my first big trip outside of North America. And the fact that I got to do it with a bunch of classmates was really awesome. And yeah, that's kind of where Robin and I's travels first started, <laughs> yeah, I guess. So I was also lucky enough to do another big trip with my family while I was in high school. So the year before grade 12, my family, so my mom, my dad, my sister and I took a trip out to Europe again. But this trip was a lot more fast paced than our other one. So our goal for this one was to do the route of the Orient Express. For anyone who knows what that is, it starts in London, England, and it ends in Istanbul, Turkey. It it used to be a train that would run all the way through making stops at different cities, but now it's kind of turned into this luxury five-star experience. So obviously we weren't gonna do that. So instead we just took like whatever train to get us from each place. So we started off in London, England, obviously, and then went to like Paris, France, and Strasbourg, and Salzburg, and Vienna, and lots of different places like that. So it was really cool. And we got to hop a whole bunch of different countries. So even though it's on the same continent, there's so much cultural diversity going from the west side of Europe to the eastern side of Europe. So it was a nice way to see kind of an overview of how like the cultures change and the people change and just the overall atmosphere changes. But I do hope to someday go back and explore a little more of each country because we only saw maybe one or two cities. So you didn't get the real picture of any one culture. You just got an overview of them and how they change. So technically Guatemala was the last international trip that I've done because after high school, I went straight into university, which has taken me up to the present day. <laughs> Haven't really had the time or the money to go, but I do really treasure the memories that I've made. So while Robin was at university, <laughs> That was my time to shine traveling. So I got to do quite a bit of traveling after high school, which was much needed. I had my first trip after high school to Costa Rica with my boyfriend and his family. So that was super fun. We stayed in Tamarindo for pretty much the whole time in a little Airbnb and we did a lot of beach days and got to visit the cloud forest, which was a huge highlight for my partner and I. Did some zip lining and had some fun on a catamaran the one day. So I was just totally mind blown that people got to travel like this quite often and I had never been exposed to that before. So I kept it going and my partner and I planned our next trip, which was a longer vacation to Asia, and it lasted three months. We figured out that our budget could be $60 a day Canadian for both of us, which is not a lot. We really made it work and we ate noodle bowls a lot <laughs> and slept in just hostels, which is totally fine. We had a blast and we got to meet backpackers on the way, which really helped us plan the rest of our trip because we didn't plan a lot in advance knowing that we were gonna meet people along the way. So we did a lot of traveling around Thailand. We went to lots of different places, some main cities like Phuket, we went to Koh Phi Phi, did some island hopping. After our 30 day free visa was up in Thailand, we hopped on a plane and went to Bali for a month 
and did a bunch of traveling around there. Bali was incredible. I would absolutely go back. I don't know if I would go back to Thailand necessarily. It was very hectic, but super fun. Don't get me wrong, beautiful, but if I had to pick between Thailand and Bali, it would be Bali 100%. A lot more relaxed, I found. That was where we got to rent our first motorbike because Thailand was way too crazy to drive there. We did a lot of island hopping. We went to Nusa Penida. Um, Limbogan was absolutely amazing. We also got the chance to go kind of off grid where other travelers didn't go. So that was really cool that we went to some less touristy places. And then after our 30 day visa was up in Bali, we hopped on a plane and went back to Thailand. And from there we did the northern part of Thailand where we actually met some people at a hostel that were heading into Laos and we thought hey let's go tag along get another country off the list so we ended up going there which was very different from thailand and and bali so while we were in laos we spent most of our time in luang prabang which was a beautiful little town with the most amazing views i think i've ever seen and we actually were probably two out of the five Americans that were there, which was a very different experience for both of us, but it was beautiful. We got to really dive into the culture. We had very little people that spoke English, so that was a huge learning curve for both of us, but we got through it and I would do it again for sure. So that pretty much wraps up where Robin and I have been so far in our travels. But before we go, we just wanted to let you know that since it's Christmas time, we're going to be spending a lot of time with our family and our friends these next two weeks. So we're going to take a little break from YouTube. But stay tuned because our next video that we post, we are going to be sharing a very big announcement. See, See you in, in the next video. video. Today's the day. We're booking our flights. I'm <laughs> freaking out actually. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two. One. Ooh.